Welcome. You are new and are our guest. We're really happy you are here. As you can see, this call is a lot of fun. We do talk mostly about land, but we also have a good time doing it. Um, we have our guests, well, our co-hosts. Thank you very much. Brandon Kuhn and Lori Phillips with us. Thank you again for joining in. And this is how it goes. This is every week, every Thursday, our time with you. You can ask us all kinds of questions, you know, deals you want us to look at, hurdles, obstacles, things you're coming up on, things you don't understand. Parts of the program don't make sense. I don't know. Dream it up. Let's look at some news. Uh, here's a regular report that we look at to see how we're doing in the general market out there. This is uh, March and uh, March 19th ended. This is the graph that we almost always look at every week. Week ending March 19th. This is the 31st here. Uh, and these are the two previous week, weeks and then year to date. 10 days faster. And this is like... It continues is- to go down. Nutty. For time days like, on market, no or time one would on could predict this is what we're going on here. I love this. Active listings have gone down; uh, they're down eighteen percent year over year. Less that means there's less houses that are less property to buy in general. New listings are down; are down. There's less properties to buy, and median listing prices are up higher, fourteen percent higher. But these numbers are all better for us. That's really good than last week. All of them. Huh. Why do I do this every week? It seems to be a sound that's like the same thing over and over because I'll tell you, there will come a week where this not doesn't continue to be better for us, as you're going to see in the next part of my presentation. And I can almost tell you when that's going to happen. At some point, median list prices are going to go down, not up. New listings are going to increase, not decrease. And so that's market's going to change a little bit. That's why I look at this every week on this call. I think interest rate, there's no doubt about it. Inter- in, when uh, mortgage rates go up, and they are pretty dramatically right now, it affects uh, hum, people buying houses, but it doesn't seem to trump the uh, the things that are going on from a population standpoint and from a continue to work at home standpoint. Right. As I'm going to talk, I, I want to talk about population because I that's exactly I, I completely understand what you're asking. I think population has more to do with it than anything. And demographics like millennials, basically. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes. Exactly. And that's what we're going to look at here. These are percent changes uh, by county. Purple is people are moving out. Green are people moving in. This just got released by the census. They're moving out of these big cities. Los Angeles, San Francisco, New York, Boston, Unpleasant Chicago. in the Midwest. Chicago, Detroit. <laughs> this probably has to do with a, a shift change in natural gas, fracking and stuff. And then I don't know what's going on here. But this is a very good indication of where people are moving. This has always been like this. This has always been like this. This, is, this is new. This is relative. It's been Texas is always high growth. This area, these are areas that, you know, it's just for your consideration. And one image we can see where the people are moving from and to. So how do we capture that? What's really going on? Who's moving and why? This is a whole article if we want to read it. This is the population numbers. This is growth in, the, in our country, in the U.S., by, by people. So population growth is scheduled to be 334,000 people in change uh, with a half a percent increase. Percentages are what I look at. So while it looks like happy days to come with just the pure number of people, the population growth, there's a lot more to this. For us to make money, we need to get, dig into why this is going up. And, and are these people that are people, there's more people in the country, n- nobody can deny that. And there will be more people in the country as time goes on. This is 2050 by, so we're real, real concerned about this right here. But do these people buy real estate? Because the percentage of increase is going down, albeit not a huge amount, but it is going down. So it's going, the numbers are going up, but the percent increase is going down. And then you can see it against other countries. It doesn't have anything to do with us, but I just find it fascinating because Japan has never pulled itself out of the recession, in my opinion, from the 80s, left over from the 80s purely because of negative population growth. Mm. But they're coming back now. They're having babies. So watch Japan's, watch Japan's economy. It's going to take off. This is population growth. This is us right about here by demographic. People buy real estate between the ages of 18 and 44. If, it, if I were doing these stats, I would like to see it a little bit more broken out than that. I'd like to see people over 30, from 30 to 44. That's who really buys dirt and houses and all that. And so the number of people over this time change between here and here increases by 16 million. I'm sorry. Yeah, by 16 million. So it goes from 116 million to 132. I'm real concerned about what's going on right here. Mm-hmm. So 120 million people to 125 million people, that's 5 million people that, that are going to buy real estate for, from us. That's from that 2020 pool. to 2030. 5 million more people more yeah. 
it goes from 25 to 26, 26 to 29, and 29 to 32. You know, I'll, we'll, I'm not, I won't the be 2020 around. 2020 to 2030 is a huge jump. That's a bump. That's the biggest jump. That's right. Oh. Great times to come here. I like that. 56 to 60, so to 73 to 80. These are huge, huge demographic changes. Wow. 92% change in old people from 2016 to 2060. So when you go back and see that graph, which I, I didn't have, you see that the people that are growing and sticking around are old people. That doesn't help us at all. <laughs> we want new people, young people that are buying new houses and develop, causing new home developments to spread like they are right now. So what is, what are you saying, Jack? Geez, spit it out. This is a beautiful party we're in right now between, this is my opinion, between here and around 2030, you're going to see a, a change in how many houses are being developed. There probably will be some type of housing recession. So party on for the next few months, uh, next few years, probably five plus years, and then it's going to start to wane out. So send some freaking mail. That's my point. Uh, would you do this deal? Crawford County, Arkansas, 9.06 acres. Access, legal, physical, nope. Accepted offer price, $20,000. There's some kind of a dirt road somewhere. Okay. Oh, I kind of see it. It's going to show us where it is for Fort Smith. Okay. I want to see this dirt road. Look at the two houses right there. A number one, we're due to six A's. Access, no. Acreage, yep. Nine acres is good. Mm -hmm. for any part of Arkansas. Alive, we don't know. Probably. Attribute. Not fear yet, but it doesn't, it's in Arkansas. So that's positive. But here's a, thing, a little follow up on your access. The seller's neighbor has granted the seller a right of passage for access. The offer is contingent on getting this in writing, which the seller believes he can't. Okay, good. It doesn't look real flat. You know, but there's a house right here and adjacent. That's the final the attribute. Yes. Now I can see this is, this is up in the hills here of this little town. There's all kinds of agriculture going on here. And whatever natural dam is, which is probably a small. Oh, how pretty is great. that? Little cafe, church could be worse. Oh. And adjacent. Now we do have access. It's just some paperwork. This is now a bucket two property, not a bucket one because you're going to do stuff. There's a nice house here, a house here, and a nice house here. There's access. All right, so far I like it. So do I. Uh, nine acres for twenty thousand bucks. Here's forty for a hundred. Three for forty-three. There's ag property fifty for uh, three hundred. So. These on market on those two, I don't like. I'm not sure I believe those, but. And a single property sold in the last 12 months. I like that. I'd do it, Chelsea. I would have to, I would too. Uh, I, I would green light this, but you got to get that access thing all done during escrow. Yeah, yeah. I would do this, and, but I would get a broker opinion, but I would do this. I wonder what we could sell it for. I'm having trouble pricing it. It's nine acres, a lot of signage opportunities here. You know, I, I'd like to see where the access is granted because there's a driveway going can't see it. You can see it here. Which neighbor is granting access because there's a house right here. Uh -huh. Still got this, all this valley material. I bet it's really, really nice. Look at that. You can see where the Google car turned around. I would I would buy this. That's pretty. Pending the, the access issue. Uh -huh. What do you guys think? But there's a sign. I want to make sure it's not a for sale sign. Yeah, my only issue is access for them. I'm thumbs up. As long as it doesn't say realty. It looks like it does. That's what I'm wondering. With the narrow. All right. You got to investigate that one. So do do a little more digging. But overall, Chelsea, we like it. Yeah. Would you do this deal? Fanning County, Texas, 8.25 acres. Access, yes. No flood, no HOA. Zoning, anything goes. It's Texas. Septic power water in place. Well, that's interesting. Accepted offer is 85000 Things we could sell for 160000 There was a mobile on the property until 2011. And the utilities were put in place then. There's a handshake agreement with the neighbor who hays the land for his cattle. Seller let him know he's selling. Comp seemed to be around $20,000 an acre. This is a definite yes. Yeah. I, I agree. A bought land like this in that area, it's a definite. Okay. Uh, well, the only, qu only question to me is price. That's it. And it has right. an address. We could see if it was ever listed. Yeah, I wonder if, I see this, how this is, uh, I hope you can see this on your screen. It's got a driveway. You can drive right up to it. They're, the mobile home, you can probably see the utility sticking out of the ground. Yeah. Um, Why don't you go back in time a little bit? Yeah, you can see that utility pole right there. Look at that. This is 2017. Oh, I see it. There's the pole. <laughs> it's like one of Brandon's mobile home saying, parks. That's what I was just thinking. I'm like, <laughs> oh, no. I'm kind of having, I'm kind of having what happened to the mobile <laughs> Uh, tornado hit right here this is where the touchdown yeah flashbacks little sally's bedroom <laughs> seriously that stuff spread around oh, oh. 
that's it. Oh, yeah. So, so this is 2010. Yeah. That's cool. Mm, this is great right now. Yeah. I like this one too. We're having a good day. Oh, you jinxed it. Yeah. So here you go. This is a very similar, these are very similar uh, comps. A lot of days, but buy for 80, sell for whatever, 160. Um, you know, I would confirm with the realtor. There's a lot of days here. At that price point. Now, yeah. now I would. See the days. Yeah, that's okay. And dig right into com completed sales here. Texas doesn't give them to you readily, but you can uh, dig and find. Dig and find. Well, yeah. Let's go back up. Give me grins and giggles. Let me just see. That was six acres. All right, here we go. Pending at one twenty six for six acres. So, I um, okay, so, so his, yeah, his twenty k per acre is retail. So buying for eighty five is a little rich for me. I wish it was more like fifty. This is one pretty close to it, but I think it's priced a little high. Yeah, this is it we're looking at, Brandon. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I agree. I'd like to see it below 50. I mean, yeah, that's a lot of money to be putting up on one deal. I don't know. I guess worst case, you could sell for probably 100. But got uh, utilities right there, though. That's what it's got going for it. And you can drive right up to it. You put it on a contract and then get a, or just get a broker's opinion anyways and then decide or something. Yep. Get a broker's opinion for sure. This is good, though. He does not. He's really, he, I like this guy. He probably says it doesn't have electricity or power. So you, this could be a good guy to call mm -hmm. Bruce here and say, Bruce, I got one down the road that does have electricity and power. What could you sell it That's for? That's a great, uh, fantastic suggestion. Would you steal Crawford County, Arkansas, 34.18 acres. I love the acres that you're going for. It's so great. Right. Nice big properties. This one, access again, don't worry about it. We have it. Paved floodplain electricity at the road. 13,000 an acre. Whoa. So $442,000. <laughs> nope, I wouldn't do that deal. No, I wouldn't either. We might be completely missing something unless it's, it's you know it's Texas situation. You know what can be what I don't like to look who owns it. Yeah. It's like they're trying to flip it to Chelsea and make a profit. And why, you know, I would go back and look, Chelsea. So hold on. Who was the owner before that and see what they paid? So this is 30 you acres. Um, these are the two comp, uh, the few comps here. So she's not, it's not nuts. These are 10,000 an acre. What do you think, Lori? Way too expensive. Okay. They're, they need to they need to put their bong down and then rethink it tomorrow. Will you go back and look at the look at neighbor scoop for me? We open up and let's just see if we can see what they paid. They paid two twenty five yeah. in two thousand eleven. Yeah. So they're so they're trying to double their money, and so they're there's exactly right. where you are. That's what this calls for. Yeah. Put the bong down. They think you're retail. They don't know that you're not retail. Lori said it, not me. Zach, I love <laughs> it. So that's a definite this. I'm sorry. Would you do this deal, Randolph County, North Carolina? Funky shape, 1.4 acres and 10 acres. Are they adjacent on Adams Farm Road? So Odell. that's it. Okay, got it. So those two oh, pieces. Good. Okay, good. We have the access there because of the big one. 27,500 is the accepted offer price. No floodplain. Electric available right on the road. Sewer and well are needed. The two lots are right next to each other. Great access off I-73 or whatever. I got that. 173. There's a marina about a mile away on the land. Agent believes he can sell it in 60 days for 130. Well, I have nothing to add then. There's a marina. To get to the river? It's called Deep River. Yeah. Oh, sure. Here's the access here. I love this. I would totally. I'm, I'm kind of, yes. Here's the interstate. You look at access is all along mm -hmm. that road. Martha, is this the way you brag about this deal? Yeah. This does nice. look like pretty, pretty nice. It is. I would um, buy this. Like you've never talked to somebody and buying for 30, sell for 130. Please tell me you have escrow open. If not, hang up with she, us. She already talked to somebody? Yeah. Yeah, I'd buy this. Yeah. I'd totally buy this. Yeah. Uh, I would uh, rush in and I would get off this call and buy this. Yes. <laughs> Absolutely. It's amazing. This is what we're all looking for. $100,000 margin property. Uh-huh. So you just do 10 of them, make a million dollars a year like Brandon. We, we do it all. Oh, I goof it up and I only sold it for, I made only 70000 because mm -hmm. I goofed or something. I only made 700000 this year. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Good job. Yes. All right. We will see you uh, same time next week. Thanks, everybody. Have a great acquisition uh, week, and we'll see you next week sometime. Yeah.